Hey, this is Chef Carl, and in this video, I'm making for you lemon pepper and honey jalapeno garlic chicken tenders, right after this. All right, first let's go over the ingredients. So I'm gonna be using uh, chicken breasts, uh, cut up into tenders, or you can just buy chicken tenders, hot sauce, lemon pepper seasoning, butter, honey, fresh garlic, Parmesan cheese, jalapenos, cooking oil, flour, cornstarch, barbecue rub, salt and pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, cayenne pepper, sasson, fresh lemon juice, uh, dried parsley, and buttermilk. So right here, what you see me doing is making my own buttermilk, and all you have to do is take whole milk, so three, uh, maybe like three cups of whole milk, and maybe like three tablespoons of uh, white vinegar and let it sit for a couple hours and that'll make um, your buttermilk. And I also put a little bit of hot sauce in there. So what I'm gonna do is um, marinate my chicken in the buttermilk for about two hours. All right, you can do it longer, but at least two hours. Just mixing up everything just to make sure that it's all coated, making sure that the buttermilk is ch touching all the chicken. All right, so now I'm making my flour dredge. So I'm going into a large bowl with some flour and all my seasonings. Alright, so right here, I'm dredging all my chicken in the um, seasoned flour. Just make sure you let the buttermilk drip off a little bit. Yeah, and the reason why you want to let some of the buttermilk drip off the chicken, you just don't want your flour to get too wet and start clumping up on your chicken. Yeah, so now all you want to do is just mix up your chicken, make sure that it's all coated in flour, pretty much like you're making fried chicken. Right here you just see me um, I'm gonna chop up the jalapenos and some uh, fresh garlic that's gonna go into one of my sauces. Alright so as, as you can see I already started frying my chicken. Make sure that your oil is hot enough to start frying in. The way you want to find that out you either put a you know, dangle a piece in there. If you see it start frying right away, then you know the grease is hot enough. Or you can just drop a little flour in there, or you can drop a couple of drops of water in there. If you hear it sizzling, then you know it's hot enough. But you gotta make sure that your um, oil is hard, hot enough to start frying, or your chicken's not gonna um, get a nice crust on it. All right, and definitely try not to overcrowd the pan. Alright, this is the sound that you want to hear right here. You want to hear that chicken frying. Alright? If you don't hear that, then you know your grease isn't hot enough. Alright, so I'm doing this in batches. I'm cooking, you know, I'm cooking a lot of chicken because I'm cooking it for my, my family. But, um, yeah, as you can see, if you look at the chicken that's on the tray, it's nice and golden brown. And, that's what you're looking for. You want to get a nice crust, you want it to be nice and golden brown. Even when it gets golden brown, if you're not sure if it's done in the middle, then just throw it in the oven for about 10 minutes, which is something that I always do. I don't always cook it from start to finish in the grease. Um, you know, a lot of times I just get the crust that I want, I get the color that I want, and then I just finish it in the oven.
So right here what you see me doing is um, I'm starting my honey jalapeno garlic sauce and pretty much it's going to be hot sauce, butter, uh, the chopped up jalapenos and the chopped up garlic and then I'm going to add some honey to this. Um, so you're going to get that kind of hot and sweet, you know, kind of like a sweet and, kind of like a sweet and sour but with a more of a kick to it. And then here I'm making my lemon pepper sauce. All right, so you see me squeezing in a half a lemon. And then I'm adding in my dry lemon pepper seasoning and some dry parsley flakes. Also adding a little bit to my um, to the other sauce as well. And that's pretty much both sauces. I'm just going to make sure the butter is melted in both and then both those sauces are ready. Alright, so I just took my chicken out the oven. As you see, everything is nice and golden brown. Nice crust, nice and crispy. So what I'm about to do now is just um, coat the chicken in the two different sauces. So I'm going to do the first batch and then I'll do another batch with the other sauce. Alright, this first batch is the lemon pepper. Obviously this, this last batch is the honey jalapeno garlic. Here you go, lemon pepper uh, chicken tenders and honey jalapeno garlic chicken tenders. The honey jalapeno garlic sauce, that's my own recipe, so definitely give that a shot. Also leave a comment of other uh, recipes you want me to you want to see me make. Um, subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, hit the notification bell. Check me out on social media, Cooking and Grilling with Carl. Catch you on the next video. God bless. Peace.